the seated lotus position. Why sit like this? Why put yourself through pain and torture for hours on end sitting like this? There's got to be a reason. So you've seen thousands of statues all over the world that depict this position. So it might be kind of important, right? There's Buddhists, there's yogis, there's Taoists, right? All over the Asian world, you see these statues, massive statues, statues that have been there for hundreds and hundreds and thousands of years, right? So there's some kind of lost technology with the body that most people that in our Western society have no clue about, right? That we hardly hear about. Yet, if you look deeper into this subject in these areas, there's a lot of information to learn. And there's one reason why I found finding about John Chang and the magic of Java and how he's able to create fire out of his hand and heal all kinds of sick people with his ability to create electric like chi and zap them. There's another Nakong uh, master that's even more powerful than John Chang who has a book out that has the complete biography of his training. And he was taught by three Taoist immortalists all at one time. And they share exactly why you sit in Lotus. In this book, which is entitled Opening the Dragon Gate, the story of Wang Leaping's journey to becoming an immortal and developing amazing powers, there's a portion of the book that has this quote. Why do Taoists emphasize the need to sit cross-legged when cultivating refinement? And why is the full lotus posture considered best? Practitioners have to imitate the situation of the fetus in the mother's womb with all the lower passages and apertures sealed shut, the luminous openings not leaking, thus facilitating the development of the fetal breathing or womb breathing as well as the clearing of this 10th great opening located in the umbilical region. I'm going to skip down. Rejuvenation is one of the aims of Taoist hygiene. Once people have grown old, they cannot return wholly to the stage of infancy. But it is possible to cultivate some of the special characteristics of the state of the infant. One of these special characteristics is the complete set of longitudinal meridians and latitudinal parallels on the body of a newborn infant. In other words, the Qi Meridian system. And in a moment, I'm going to explain why I know this to be true after practicing this. Before we came out of the mother's womb, how did we get our nutrition? It came through the umbilical cord, right? It came through the belly button. So the reason why people sit like this is because it cuts off the lower channels of the body and enables energy to be taken in from the navel area. So what this means is when you're breathing and meditating, the chi is in the air. Life creates the chi, right? It collects in this area. And there's an unknown chi organ that's called the Dantian. It's like a chi warehouse. Now, people who have yet to develop this, this chi organ of the body, it's very, very small. Some say it's the, the size of a cell, a single cell. But when you start to develop it, it can get as big as a, uh, a half dollar coin, right? So. One of the secrets in creating great health and getting these abilities is being able to turn on this Qi Meridian system. Now, this Meridian system to Westerners seems like a bunch of crap, but as you look through thousands of years of research within the Asian cultures, it's always been depicted. And now science has proven that this system actually exists. How can it be proven? You can actually take a radioactive substance that can be picked up by uh, an x-ray machine 
And what they find is the, has the same depiction as the ancient acupuncture point charts that we see. It has the same designs. Also, there are electronic devices, and I've tried this on myself, where you can pinpoint exactly where these points of energy come out. And it's just like what the posters depict, exactly in the same spots. After practicing sitting like this and doing these types of meditations, it's beyond research for me. At this point in time, I have the sensation, just like John Chang has electric abilities, well, not just like it, but very, very low level. It feels like in my tongue, I have a nine volt battery all the time. So anywhere I stick my tongue in my, in my mouth, it starts to get numb. And it even starts to taste like I tested a nine volt battery in my mouth, kind of like that metallic taste. Um, so I know beyond any shadow of any doubt that this stuff, there's something to it. Now I couldn't get in this position before on the first time I was trying it. It took me five months of practicing half lotus to finally get to this position. And then finally one day I just had an inkling uh, of an idea to try it out and I fit into it really well. So, so when you're practicing these methods you got to make sure you're doing it right and you want to do your research because you can actually create stagnant energy in the body and in the legs if you're not moving the energy around as well. So I highly encourage that you do research along with this practice if you decide to do so. So to help with your research, I'm going to be releasing a video soon that explains the whole meditation that John Chang teaches his students step by step and all the specific little things that make it all work, which has enabled me to have to start to have these sensations as well as being able to take on physical hits. Like I stub my toe, no pain. I got hit in the face with a baseball, no pain. After the inning was over, my friend asked me about it. I completely forgot, right? So the what we can do with our bodies hasn't even scratched the surface of what's possible, what we can do. And just with me practicing this for a few months and, and feeling these things, you know, absolutely proves that to be certain to me, right? So one more element to this. When you're collecting chi and you're, you're getting your, your body filled, right? And one of the things that I've noticed is my teeth have a charge to them. It's almost like they get so incredibly jittery. It's almost, I, I, I almost can barely even handle it sometimes. And that tells me that all of my energy meridians are getting filled because at the end of every energy meridian, it goes to your teeth. So when you're eating food, you're actually stimulating your entire body. Anyhow, um, when you're filling your body with chi, you're also turning on what's known as the entric system. This system is also known as the brain gut. Have you ever noticed that the small intestine has the same kind of design as the brain? You know, like kind of that squiggly motion? And it's also interesting that in your small intestine is neural tissue, right? So when you ever have a gut feeling, that actually means you are sensing something, right? You're actually thinking with your gut. So when you're doing, when you're powering up your body with chi, you're fueling up the entric system. And I've noticed a lot of interesting things happen where I'm just way more sensitive to things. Like I, I was like, I'm, I'm, I've been playing baseball and softball and I've actually noticed and, and sensed balls coming at me from the behind where it's, it's just kind of weird, you know? So I hope this is kind of like encouragement and, and some, some good information for you guys to know that you know there's something to it. Some of the other things I noticed when I first started getting into the Lotus and doing these meditations is my head would get really spacey. So I made sure not to do too much at one time so my body could adapt and now I don't really get that spacey feeling anymore. With me feeling all this energy in my teeth that's telling me I have energy that's just pumping through my entire system. I hardly ever get sick. I feel incredibly healthy and I really don't have an issue with energy at all. And one of the reasons is because I'm practicing stuff like this. So when you're sitting in the half lotus or lotus position, you're enabling your body to fuel that part of your body. And then from there, the technology continues to, to blow me away because there's different hand mudras 
which is your hand is kind of like the control system for your body and I'm just starting to learn this so as I continue to learn more I'll share more information but there's hundreds of different ways you can hold your hands to activate different organs different parts of your body if you have certain ailments you can meditate and focus on these different types of mudras and it'll send energy to different points in your body so why is it so important to sit in lotus and half lotus it helps you focus all the energy into your energy meridian system the chi is in the air it's created by life right and so when you breathe in and you focus it there it actually goes into that area so if you learn anything about this go ahead and hit the like button i'd appreciate that if you like this information and you want to learn more as it continues to explore more and and teach more about this go ahead and hit the subscribe button hit that notification bell because if you don't you're not even going to know if it even comes out so hit that notification bell and let me know if you try lotus or half lotus if there's a different sensation what do you feel i want to know and i'll respond back and if you have any questions you can go ahead as well my name is michael gray thanks for watching till the next destination i'll see you later